The harvest mouse is our tiniest native rodent, and partly because of their size, we know much less about them than we should. At Moulton College in Northamptonshire, a new project is addressing one of the main problems facing any harvest mouse researcher, that of finding them in the first place. These lovely animals have been bred in captivity by PhD student Emily Howard Williams and today they'll get their first taste of freedom. After their release, Emily will be testing some innovative means of keeping track of each individual. But why go to so much trouble? Emily's supervisor, ecologist Dr James Littlemore, explains. So why the interest in harvest mice to begin with? Well, they're one of our most secretive species, I guess, and we know very little about their habits. Um, we know that their numbers, uh, with some uh, historical information, have declined mm -hmm. for various reasons, including agricultural intensification. So the project at heart is a conservation project to establish a little bit more about the ecology of these very, yeah, very elusive animals. You have to be imaginative and slightly mad in your approach to actually finding them in the first place. So. What we've done uh, at the college and with the University of Northampton is devise some, uh, some inv innovative methods, uh, everything from sniffer dogs to remote uh, sensing wireless technology to conventional live trapping. Uh, it all sounds a bit crazy, but there's a very real reason to, to want to do it that way because we just can't study them any other way. So here we've got uh, two identical plots. Um, where we've released, uh, the current release is uh, seven harvest mice into each plot with the idea of getting um, a capture prob probability using two different monitoring methods and um, hopefully finding out which is the better method for harvest mice post-release. So we've got um, live trapping in one end of the plot three, six, and then three, we've seven, got um, radio frequency nine. identification or RFID in the other end of the plot and that uses microchips and a series of readers to read the microchips and then a, a central data logger. Um, this is Tui, a 14-month-old flat coat retriever, um, almost fully trained to detect the presence of harvest mice in feeders. So the aim is that we put feeders out into harvest mouse habitat. Um, they either use them or, or don't use them, and she'll indicate a positive um, sit indication for if a harvest mouse has been in there. And we're hoping that will be a better method than nest searches for presence-absence kind of surveying.